176 horse gym with boots. Counter turns clip two of two. Now we add corners. We have a box of rails with four chunky corner markers. At first click and treat each nice turn, then every second turn and so on. Varying how many you do before you click. Here I've done a click and treat for two turns. See she's distracted by something next door. But note the change back to listening ears where her focus is on synchronization again. After the click the ears come forward to take in the outer environment once more. Repeat on her right side. My gesture signal is getting smaller. She mainly notices the slight turn of my body axis toward her. Notice the ear change again after the click while she waits for the treat. Corner markers only. We have the rails removed and starting to do a whole circuit before the click and treat. I'm on her right side. It's not always easy to stay beside her ears. And we'll do a change of direction with click and treat for a tidy turn. Now I'm on her left side. She is paying really close attention to my body language. But I still often end up beside her shoulder. She's stopping with me. Generalizations. Moving on to do 180 degree turns. Here I'm on her right side. Come right around there and halt, click and treat on completion of each turn. We need the horse warmed up to do these. It's harder for her. Note the blinking. Now I'm on her left side, coming right around. Halt, click and treat. Two or three of these on each side during one session is plenty and not necessarily one after the other. Freestyle counter turns, no markers. As for walk on, she's beginning to wait for me through the turns. You can see her slightly hanging back. She waits for me to come around the larger arc of the circle. Click and treat. Figure eight pattern. I'm on the inside for that turn and now we do the counter turn. You want to have the markers much further apart when you first begin doing figure eights. Now we can do 360 degree counter turns. My body axis stays turned slightly toward the horse, which tells her that we're still going around. And halt, click and treat. Now on her right side, She's organizing herself to come around there very tidily. One side is usually harder. We actually did one and a half turns that time. Now we can play with the whole thing at liberty. Some people like to teach at liberty first and add the halter and lead later. It all depends on the horse and on your training style and on your environment. Doing a, a 180, I think, around this barrel at Liberty. That was pretty nice. And we can morph it into a nice quiet turn on the haunches, starting first with a little counter turn circle. And I'm keeping my body axis toward her and she's doing quite a nice turn on the haunches 
in a relaxed manner. We can do backing counter turns. We're going to back up four steps on each side of a square and then signal for a counter turn and four more steps back. Another counter turn, four more steps back. Another counter turn, four more steps back. And we've done a square of backing. That was pretty nice. Job well done.